the continual struggle, the American freedom movement and the seeds of social change. Think about that. That was purposely done, purposely delivered by my son, Brian Washington. We live in a country and culture of courage and change. We like to say that our challenges are real because we seek the truth. When you see the artwork tonight, just be reminded, these are very, very common people that did some extraordinary things. Silence is deafening. In that moment of silence we just experienced, many thoughts were running through your minds. But we were not in sync. Some were thinking, is he nervous? Some were thinking, is he still upset that the Bengals lost? <laughs> and some of you were just thinking, is this part of the show? Well, it's not a show, it's a story. It's about the courage that people need and the culture of courage that happens when someone like Brian Washington speaks up. You know, I ask a lot of you about the culture of courage in your life. When was the moment that you exhibited courage? Maybe when someone wanted to move in your neighborhood and were kind of dissuaded because others didn't want someone different from them to move in, and you exhibited that culture of courage. Maybe that culture of courage was in the educational system in your community where they didn't want people into that public school system because they wanted to protect it. Maybe they wanted courage from someone to speak up and drown out the silence. We never think of silence as being loud. But when you don't speak, silence is the loudest thing in the room until someone has the courage to say, I have to be the change I want to see in the world. And Brian Washington, you were that change, and you used that change through art to create a culture of change. The Civil Rights Movement itself was based heavily on, you know, spirituality and the church, including some of the very top leaders of the organization, like Martin Luther King, who was a reverend. And uh, they really relied on that, not in a, in a different way that people try to make things out now sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I think we're out of that as a sense of support mm -hmm. and a sense of faith for people who at some point had lost some faith. Yes. In the end, some of the most monumental changes that we could ever hope for, and they did it nonviolently. That's exactly right. And uh, exactly right. that's something that I'm very proud of Beautiful. and I feel very thankful for Beautiful. when I see it because I know that but for them, and fulfill those sacrifices, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't be sitting here with you guys here right now. There's four sort of areas or factors that really are separating us now. One is race, two is religion, three is sort of our regionality, and four is our risk tolerance. But we know through the, genomic, the study of genomics that we're more alike, we're much more alike than we are different the continual struggle. We've been up, we've been down, but Brian continues to fight. So when you see the artwork tonight, think about the fight that we're doing. I know I can't just change the world by one piece of art, but I hope that I can positively influence people to look at things in an educated way that they can also understand. And that's why I use the visual metaphors that I use sometimes, yes. because you know, art can really speak to people in ways that are interesting. Beautiful.